Hi everybody, my name's Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where we're here to offer you insight and information about the board games you might want to have in your collection. Today we're going to be unboxing Sorcerer from White Wizard Games. Um, and this is a card game and one I'm super excited to show you. So we'll bring it in here to the middle. It's quite a big box. As you can see, I don't have much space around it. Um, and this is a game. Does it tell you how many players on the outside? No, it does not. Uh, but we'll figure that out, I suppose, as we venture inside the box. So um, those of you familiar with White Wizard Games will know they make such um, lovely titles as Star Realms and Epic. Um, they're kind of known for their card games. And now uh, this seems to be like a foray into something like slightly bigger. Um, and as far as I'm aware, this is a game about dueling wizards. Um, you'll have different decks and you'll try and take each other out. Um, so first things to note, the box, the box is big, really big. It does have a thumb hole in the side, which I'm very impressed by. Um, and the artwork on the, the front here is busy, but kind of interesting. Like there's all sorts of things going on here. Um, these are all slightly raised when you touch the box. Yeah, it's, in particular, the title here is raised. So, um, and otherwise it's kind of nice um, and and shiny. Um, it looks it looks really good. The side, the side of the box, actually, I'll show you that too, if it'll get all the way up. Is also super pretty. There's some really nice artwork here. Um, and we'll go all the way around to the back and see what it tells us. So, Sorcerer is a game that's supposed to take 60 minutes and it is for two to four players. Ooh. And it's got over 170 cards. <laughs> I always think it's a bit sad when companies advertise how many cards are in their game as if it made, made their game better or worse or more worthwhile. Um, some great card games need very few cards altogether. Um, so the back of this, it says, Welcome to a dark Victorian world where the fire and smoke of industry blacken the sky. So we have a, a setting for our, our card game. Most card games aren't really too strong on theme. Most, I say. Of course, there are great exceptions. Normally, card games are about how you play them, how they function and stuff. But this seems to put a lot of effort into all these like, tokens and pieces. It looks, looks very deluxe. So let's see what's actually inside. Into the big box. Do 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 do. No. Yeah, it's got finger holes. Woohoo! Woo! Okay, so already this oh my god, you see the inside of this? Yeah, I got so every actually for a minute there I really thought it was kind of lined the way the paper works. That's beautiful. That's a really nice touch. Okay, so rule book. Cool looking cover. Very A4. Quite big. Let's see what it's like. Um, it's the kind of the waxy, you know, thin um, paper. So first things first, it's got a table of contents and I always think it's very hard to do a uh, rule book for a card game because it's the kind of thing you nearly want somebody to show you to play um, to know all the extra bits. This is interesting, it tells you how to set up your box um, with dividers and places for your tokens. I like that, that's quite cool. Um, it'd be cool to see that. And then there's all kind of the keywords down here and there's learn to play videos, very good. So what you get in the game, Player boards, battlefields, tokens, cards, a phone block is even listed. And then here's the card, the different types of decks that are available. I like this, two player rules, so special ones obviously for two player. So an overview of your player boards, your battlefields, and there's not a lot actually text in here, it's quite, quite a lot of images, which is helpful. Avatars, guild cards, very nice. Grimoire explains all of the iconography on the cards, always really important. Also, we have battle dice as well. Explains what the different type of counters are. Yeah, the, like the font here is, is huge. Should have no problems reading through this. Creating your sorcerer. So it tells you how to kind of put together your deck for your sorcerer. Good, good, good. The game rounds will be a ready phase, an action phase. Doesn't seem like there's actually too many bits and things you could do in it. So maybe it's not too complicated, which, which is always a positive. End of round phase. So a section for the game turns, that's nice. The rule book, that's actually really pretty. So these little diamonds and creepy crawlies and things in it, you're really getting into the theme. Um, some tactics, some more abilities, resolving multiple effects. Yeah, okay, cool. And then the origin of the buried, these are different lineages, seems to explain. Whatever those might be, cool. Um, blood pools, yeah, more beautiful pictures, like there's a lot of pictures. There's a multiplayer rules, a battle royale for three to six player. Okay, um, a team version, kind of cool. 
And then it's got some credits, of course. Um, so this was a Kickstarter game, so they're, they're listed there. And the extra things you can get for Sorcerer to expand your game. And nothing on the back. I think it's supposed to be very much like a, a richy kind of oldie tome. Might have cheapened it if it had something on the back page. So very, it looks like a very thorough and straightforward rule book. Now, okay, this looks like a, a lot of cardboard. No, it's not a lot of cardboard. So we have tokens. Many tokens and character. Oh, these are dividers for your box. Which I'm totally not going to set up right now. Because knowing me, I'd muck it up. Oh, the tokens are double-sided, so they're different. So I'll pop one out. Oh, this one's willing to go. Yeah, they're thick card, like they're thick cardboard, they're definitely not like um cheap. That's fine. You know, they'll be they'll be completely functional tokens. Okay, there we go. And then we got this page with all like the the extra bits there, the dividers, and maybe I think they were called your avatars. Did I read that a minute ago? And other pieces, yeah, they sit into this. Okay. Very cool. The artwork is very pretty there, look at the character card. She's very pretty. Right, what's next? Oh, so, oh, oh wow. Wow, okay, so these are the game boards? Yeah, game round, battle phase, ready phase. These are like actual um, a board board for for a, a regular game. Like they're not, they're proper card, they're proper laminated. These are very classy. Um, very, very cool. And you see the, obviously the space for your, like your health here, your tokens. Um, and whatnot. It's quite uh, that's quite nice. And then the reminder for you how to play. Very cool. Uh, are these are they all this? Yeah, they're different on one side than they are on the other. Okay, not sure what that means, but they're very cool. God, they're very very nice now. It's a very expensive touch. <laughs> there we go. And then next down, what are these? So these were kind of like the battlefields, wasn't it? Their locations. So they're like London, London, creepy London, and then some sort of monster. <laughs> Ooh, look, it explodes. These are also like um, um, uh, boards, you know, the game board in any other game, which is cool. Did they change it? This one has a fire on the other side. So there's London, old London, and then on the back, just things seem to be ruined. Ruined. Very cool. Ooh. Okay, now I see what they meant about sorting the box. It's got like a proper in insert. Sorry. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but it actually says sorcerer. It's engraved down the side here. Very nice. I'll keep my foam thing in there so I know what I'm doing with it. Up here we have some dice. Dice with creepy, creepy faces on them. Let's see what we got. And skulls and things. It's definitely like an occulty kind of theme. I suppose you're a wizard. This is some very classy dice. They're really nice. The, you know, you, well, yeah, they're very, very cool. They're nice. I say this like, you know, like it matters. But you know you want a dice that rolls well in your hand. We all do. So obviously your dice will go there. So then we have some... We have some red cubes. I'm not bothering to get in the bag for you guys. Because it would take me longer to take them in the bag. But these gems we'll have a look at. Let's see what we got. Hmm? Oh, this plastic bag is like... I'm doing my job. Yeah, we have each type. So we have these lovely big flat gems. Whoops. Yeah, so they're all flat on the bottom. They're very nice, these big shiny gems. I guess they're to do with your, your casting spells abilities. Very cool. And then, so of course, the one thing we haven't really got to yet, which is what the game's all about, is cards. So. I don't know if there's going to be a way for me to do this, you know, where you see all of the cards. It's pretty much impossible. So what I'll do is I'll fly through them and you can, like, watch my review or whatever later to see more cards. Because <laughs> um, it's kind of pointless showing them all to you when I don't really know what they mean and probably neither do you. Okay, so first things first, these are linen finished cards. They're lovely. There's some very cool artwork. What's the back of them like? So we've got the, just the sorcerer symbol. Mine are a little curved, I think, after travel, but that should be fine. The linen finished cards do like to do that. So, what kind of things do we got? Restore one of your non-legend minions from play to your hand. If you do, you may play a minion from your hand with its cost over by three. Okay, so this is um, general card game speak. The artwork is beautiful. I just There's something about the tone of the colours used that are really, really nice here. These are lovely cards. So I'm just having getting you to have a come and have a, a bit of a look with me. Like, look at that. This is gorgeous. 
Wow! Very exciting stuff. So, as far as I'm aware, the idea is that as a wizard you construct a, a deck and you can have three different kind of sets go into your deck. I think you can also build them yourself. I think that's just the, the you know, the starting point for, for when you're playing. So we'll put these, I'll put them back in here reluctantly. Actually, if I put them on for arts like that, there we go, I'll feel a bit better about it. Yeah, because now, the, now, they're, now they're loose and they're, they've been unleashed out into the world. Um, I appreciate these tabs, of course, for opening your card game. Do, do, do. Come on. Right. So, oh, bronze emissary, so kind of creepy. Oh, the art is. The art is stunning. I do think sometimes, though, the art makes a card game. Like, obviously, it has to function and it has to be playable, but art is really the icing on the cake. These are gorgeous. I can't wait to try these out. And obviously, I can't tell you much about what they do because, you know, I haven't read the rule book yet. You and I are just here flicking our way through some cards together. Like, look at that. Fantastic stuff. So more cool cards and build your decks and go against your opponent. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Ooh, look at this. We've got like a, a card to tell us things. A blood pool card. And then, oh, we've like characters here. Miss Zelda, the demonologist. Ooh. So there's kind of the uh, other things here to do. Tactic cards. Ongoing, whenever you play vampire minion, you may exhaust the skill cards to gain two blood. Okay. Very interesting. And the last pile of cards. Whoop. So you do get a good lot of cards, obviously, in this. I don't think you'd be running out of cards anytime soon and feeling bored, right? It feels a little bit like a, a collectible card game without, you know, without all the co collectible features. But uh, there we go. I don't know how more luck. So oh, lots of unique things in this one. Yeah, the cards are lovely, the art is lovely. We'll just have to see how the game plays, won't we? I'm looking forward to giving this a go. I do love card games. I find it hard to get a really good one um, sometimes. But I really like Epic, which is another one of their card games, from White Wizard Games. This looks really, really fun and very cool. So, yeah, awesome stuff. Very impressive box. Very, very impressive. Um, kind of makes me really eager to go and play the game. Isn't that always a nice thing to say after opening the box? Where you're like, oh, I, can't, I just can't wait to get into this. Like, look at these. These player boards are just insane. Um, just a little bit of popping out to do. And the rule book, and you get this, this beautiful big box. So obviously there, there's going to be more expansions coming soon. Um, so you'll be able to buy more Sorcerer, and there's room in this beautiful base box for it. So, you've been watching me unbox Sorcerer um, from White Wizard Games. What did you guys think? Um, are you as excited about it as I am? Um, yeah, that was um, very enlightening. <laughs> now, now I really want to give it a whirl. Um, the art is just incredible. It looks beautiful and everything about this game looks so well finished. So, we can only hope that the game itself is as good as its presentation. So, thank you for watching. If you like what I do, why not like or subscribe to the channel um, so you can find out when I do more unboxing videos or even reviews. I, I make those too. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions and seeing what else I'll get out of the shrink wrap. So take care everybody. Bye bye.